And I can go ahead and see the reminders of what's there to be graded, in this case, a Google Doc, or I can go to the assignment itself, which is what I'll do. In my sample class now, what I'm gonna see here is a little bit of a different setup. With the submit work option, I would see a full list of my students and I can see how many students out of the entire class have handed it in. I can go on down the line and click on their work. And at the bottom, I also saw the, um, the little tiles where I can navigate from one work to the other. With the Google Docs assignments, it's a different format. I'll be able to see the assignment itself. If I click on in progress, I can see the students who have uh, not handed it in. And if I go to submissions, I can actually see the people who have handed it in. It does not give me a full number out of the entire class. It's just the way that's set up. Now, in the previous way of just grading the submit work options, when I see the student assignment, it's like a picture. So I can annotate it, draw on it, or whatever, but I actually can't change the assignment itself. With a Google Doc assignment, what you're going to see here is you have the full-on editor, and I can go ahead and, and move things around, highlight, type, whatever I like to do, or I could also open it in a whole new window to see it a little bit bigger. If I like to add comments in, I could uh, to the Google document itself. Uh, maybe that's something I do with my class. When I get to the point where I like it, I can go ahead and give it a number score. So maybe it was an 85%. I hit save, she'll have a score. And then I can go to the next submission and do the same thing to grade it and so on and so forth. The upside of this sort of a grading is that I can actually edit a Google document, which could be really nice for the process. But a downside is that I'm not really going to be able to capture an iterative process. So if a student was to resubmit the same document, that student would need to unsubmit the assignment, do the work, and resubmit it. And I'm not going to be able to compare between draft one and draft two in a Google Docs type of a format. If students do submit a Google uh, Docs link through the submit work, it makes a picture of that document. And I can then toggle between version one, version two, so on and so forth uh, to grade and give the feedback as appropriate.